Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Wagon Smash. This is going to be episode 47. We've got the Cybran Experimental Monkey Lord by Wootness. We're going to be taking on the Land Battleship Utah by. Um, was it Fair and Poor? Yeah, Fair and Poor on that one. Got uh, all of the standard settings. We'll go ahead and get this battle started. We'll do a quick introduction and then get the fight run it right underway. Alright, on the left we have the Cybran Experimental Monkey Lord and it's two little fire beetle suicide crafts. And that's going to be going up against the Land Battleship Utah by Therum 4. Right, I'm going to try and catch the, uh, the transformation on the uh, monkey lord here. It's actually pretty cool. You can uh, get it captured. I'm gonna go ahead and move the avatar out of the middle of the battlefield. Maybe. Yeah, it's going. It's just being really laggy. Go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see how it uh, sort of spreads out the up the legs and the little, uh, I don't even know what you'd call them, little nerds on the back there. Oh, 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 oh man! Wow, those those cram shots came in quick and doing a lot of damage there. Land Battleship Utah 100%, Super Monkey Lord down to 98 already. So like the Fire Beetle's still pretty full full health. Man, those shots are just massive. Doesn't look like it's getting through the armor yet, though. So, some impressive explosions and some surface damage. But nothing critical quite yet. There goes one of the beetles. Other one's still 100%. And we see the, uh, the Utah dipping down a little bit. 99%. It must have smoke. I, I think I can see some smoke there in the distance. Oh, there goes the other fire beetle. So, down to just the two capital ships now. Battleship Utah 99%, Monkey Lord 95%. Yeah, it looks like it's the the Battleship Utah is fairly slow moving, and it is uh, just pouring smoke, and that is uh, protecting it from the damage on the Monkey Lord. Did the Monkey Lord stop firing? Oh, it looks like we've just gone into degraded mode. I'm seeing uh, some shit. Yeah. Just lost the uh, particle effects, the trail effects. Oh no! Oh, excellently placed shot there, and the battleship Utah takes out the turret. On the there goes all of the laser damage. I mean, the lambs are still going to work, but uh, no more uh, laser damage coming from the monkey lord. It does still have missiles. I'm not sure if those are going to be able to make it. Um, all the way over and take out the battleship Utah, but that's the uh, the only thing the Monkey Lord has left. Oh, it looks like most of the missiles are actually damaged as well follow this one is. I think there is a Sea Wiz on the Battleship Utah. Oh, lambs. If not Sea Wiz, definitely lots of lambs. Yeah, Missile's got no chance. This looks like a, an easy victory for the Battleship Utah. Just completely wrecking the uh, Monkey Lord here. And uh, that's that's no uh, light uh, victory. The, uh, the Monkey Lord has uh, got quite a few wins under its belt been doing uh, really well so far but unfortunately it looks like it's, it's tournament bid will end here
Uh, you taught 100% how chain chain reactions happening on the monkey lord there. Got a little too close, getting some lag. Maybe those, are those crams? I thought those were crams on the, uh, but those could be just um, 500 millimeter shells. Let's take a little peek at the Battleship Utah. Uh, just usually you can't see um, APS rounds. The, if you can see the round, it's usually crammed, but I think those, yeah, these are actually uh, just 500 uh, millimeter guns, really big um, APS guns. It explains the uh, the shell speed as well, why they're able to get through the lambs. Let's take a look. Yeah, definitely APS guns. <laughs> Once again, the jimmer is unable to uh, discern the uh, even the basics of uh, from the depths. <laughs> I mean, can you blame me though? Look how big those shells are. Those are huge shells. It seems like they should be coming out of a cram gun. In the, uh, especially if you look at that explosion that uh, follows. Monkey Lord is just booking it for the hills. It senses that its end is near and it is uh, trying a last minute uh, fleeing maneuver to escape the battle. A horrible frame rate here. Hopefully the uh, the video is not too jittery. I think it's all of the uh, subconstructs on the uh, the Monkey Lord. Definitely adds to the lag. Yeah, in the future, I'm definitely going to steer away from tournaments uh, th this large. I think. Uh, about 150k resources per vehicle is about the limit for what my hardware can handle and uh, get you see a nice video that's not too uh, laggy. Yeah, it seems when I was testing it, I, I tested a few designs that were this size, and uh, most things don't really cause any lag. But uh, some some ships, I know I've said this a million times now, but the the like laser um, focused ships seem to uh, cause me quite a bit of lag at this uh, this size so we'll, in the future we'll uh, we'll go a little bit smaller and hopefully get a little bit uh, silkier video got some uh, plans for uh, the, uh, the upcoming propane that uh, will sort of address this issue we're gonna we're gonna take it in a different direction and uh, it's possible that I'll have made the, the thread before it by the time you actually see this video but um, when this is recorded, I'm still working on the details. Sort of a strange thing to have a uh, a past and future self <laughs> for the the stuff you're talking about.
Battleship Utah really closing that distance now. Keeping nice and close to the uh, Monkey Lord. And just landing shot after shot. I'm surprised how much damage the, uh, the Monkey Lord has been able to sustain. Just three minutes in simulation time, probably getting close to almost 10 minutes of uh, real time in this video. Utah continuing to just punish the uh, Monkey Lord. Monkey Lord completely defanged, no longer able to return damage, but uh, still staying alive. I don't think it really has uh, any, any chance of winning at this point, but... Uh, Definitely uh, save some base and uh, show some pride and uh, just stay alive as long as possible. Telling its opponents, you might be able to take me out, but I'm not going to go easy.
And there we go, there is the two damaged. So it will hold on for five minutes there. Just showing the uh, the durability of the uh, Monkey Lord. If it, if the Battleship Utah hadn't got that uh, lucky shot and uh, taken out the turret, this could have gone a very different way. But uh, congratulations to Ferrum 4, Land Battleship Utah, uh, crushing this win. And uh, condolences to Wootness. Uh, Monkey Lord uh, was a fantastic design, really great aesthetic, and uh, really glad to have it in the tournament. And also, once again, thank you so much for making the, uh, the lovely tournament mod here. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Just makes uh, makes uh, making these uh, tournaments so much easier and so much more enjoyable. But that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, click on that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next episode.